Given the artist's name, seems a pretty fitting date to cover this topic, but memes aside, we got some sad stuff going on. This artist says, good morning, I've been very confused. I was shocked to see a friend who didn't know how to draw start using AI and gaining more followers and profit than me, and it made me wonder if I should keep drawing. Also, I have attended three funerals this year and will attend another one tomorrow. Lately, my sad and negative feelings have consumed me, and I've only been focusing on drawing. I'm sorry I didn't achieve my goals this year, but I'll try my best to do as much as possible. I'll try to live my life happily drawing like I did a year ago. I'll be back. The tweet collecting over 300,000 views, over 5,100 likes. First of all, my condolences to the OP having to deal with all those funerals. That is tough to deal with, especially in that short amount of time. So that's, that's a lot going on. Now, regarding the AI art seller, I'm just fundamentally confused. I don't understand this at all. Like, who would actually buy AI art? Who would commission an AI artist? Like, you won't be able to get what you want. Like, a lot of those prompts, they can't get very specific without messing it up. Furthermore, if anyone actually wanted to commission AI art prompts, they could just make their own AI art prompts and not pay the really inflated price of going through like a third party or whatever. So the whole thing is really confusing to me. Yeah, I don't get that business model at all. I'm surprised there's apparently a market for that. I feel bad for artists, especially because most of them just want to make people happy with their art. Like they just post art and want to make people happy. That's a very nice thing to do. You know, they mean well. So it sucks that they have to deal with all this stuff, especially with how fast the tech is going, uh, et cetera, et cetera. At the same time, I don't want to see these artists end up like the analog photographers who were put out of business when digital came out or like Blockbuster, for example, when they went out of business because they didn't adapt to streaming services. So there's definitely going to be some tough choices to be made. As it stands right now with the tech, there's a lot of stuff that AI can't do that I think artists will be able to easily find a niche beating the AI in. But I don't know how long those niches will last as the tech continues to advance. There's also other fields like music where some of these people have been utilizing AI for a while in, uh, in unison with their own natural talents, so to speak. So perhaps artists will also be able to adapt in a similar way. I don't really know. Some of this is abstract and I'm not an artist. I'm not a tech dude. So I'll probably wrap this up here. Those are just some vague thoughts from a weeb with a mic. Make of it what you will. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, I wish all the best to the artists out there. I will also have the OPs at in the description. If you'd like to copy paste it, check out more of their work, consider supporting them. And as always, thank you for your time. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the comments and tomorrow for the next segment.